Last night, we shared with you the views of a former Tennessee death row prison guard who says Governor Lee should spare the life of the next inmate set to be executed. And after that story aired, we heard from another death row prison guard, one with a strikingly different view. As the governor weighs whether to change the sentence of convicted killer Nick Sutton, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spoke with that guard who says doing so would start a slippery slope. After nearly 10 years working at Riverbend, including time in the death row unit, say his sentence was commuted. Former prison guard Joel Rader says he has great respect for Hugh Rushton, a fellow former guard who told us yesterday mm -hmm. inmate Nick Sutton's life should be spared. He's a great asset to the Department of Corrections. But Rader says he disagrees with his former co-worker. The amount of respect I have for him, I, I can't voice. But on this issue, I think he's wrong. Rader says he worked around Sutton on death row, who was accused of murdering four people in the 80s. While Sutton's attorneys say he's turned his life around, if the governor changes his sentence to life in prison, he'd move into the general Riverbend population, a place Rader says is far less stable than death row. If you go to other units on the Riverbend compound, there's more violent activity in those units than what you'll find in death row. To land on death row, Sutton killed a fellow inmate in Morgan County. Raider says moving Sutton back to that general prison population would be too risky. He's forced himself upon someone before, took their life. You want to give him another chance to do that again. Sutton helped save the life of a guard during a 1985 prison riot. Even so, Raider says reducing Sutton's sentence would begin a slippery slope for all other inmates. If an inmate on life does something good, you're going to reduce his sentence because that's what you're starting. Bottom line, Raider says the jury's verdict as part of the legal system should stand. If you start questioning that system too much, it becomes broken. I don't know if there is a way to, to say, hey, this man is OK to come off death row. I, I don't believe there is. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Sutton's attorneys have argued the jury that sentenced him to death was biased because jurors could see shackles on Sutton throughout his trial. But judges have not been convinced. Just today, the state Supreme Court declined to stop Sutton's execution scheduled for Thursday.